As a spacecraft engineer, the gear I use on a day-to-day -day basis determines how well I can do my job. So in this video, we're gonna explore the type of items that I take with me to work every day in my bag. Now, I haven't touched my bag since I got home from work, so hopefully this is a accurate reflection of the equipment that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And as always, you can find all of the items that I talk about in this video linked in the description box if you'd like to pick them up yourself. So starting with the backpack, this is the Dell EcoLoop 15 laptop backpack, um, which is designed to carry uh, laptops 15 to 17 inches. Uh, which is important because that's the size of my laptop as we'll see later on in the video. One thing you'll notice about this backpack is it's very small and there are not too many uh, pockets and compartments in it like you'd normally see with other everyday carry backpacks. Now for most people this would be a bit of a problem because there's not enough space but I actually really like how little space there is in this backpack because it makes me much more intentional with the items that I take with me to work. And as we'll see, I don't need too many items to actually do my job. Now on the outside of the backpack, I carry with me one item, which is this Chili's bottle. It's 500 mils. Um, I use it pretty much only for water, although you can put hot liquids in it. And I've had this for uh, probably like four or five years now. This was actually in my student everyday carry when I was an undergrad. So if you are interested in finding out more about this, you can watch that video by clicking either up there or there. So let's first take a look at what's inside in the small front compartment. Now this is sort of the place where it is the most messy um, of all of the compartments in the backpack. This is sort of like the hold all and I keep a bunch of items in here. So we'll quickly go through them. First of all, electrolytes. I always carry electrolytes with me uh, because I do quite a bit of exercise and I want to keep hydrated, especially in an office that's air conditioned. It's really easy to get dehydrated. So um, I'll usually pop one of these uh, at some point during the day and get myself hydrated. Next is something that you probably expect to see from an engineer, which is a calculator. This is the Casio FX991EX calculator. I've had this for well over five, six, seven years. I, I, when I started my uh, A-levels, this is when I first picked up this calculator. So uh, it holds a lot of sentimental value. It's been with me right from A-levels, through my undergrad, through my master's, um, and now to getting my engineering job. So um, I use this a lot. It's really useful for when I'm doing uh, dimension calculations for my mechanical team um, or later on when I'm doing flight dynamics uh, this is really good for doing all my trajectory and orbital analysis calculations. So next is my work phone. Uh, this I usually carry in my bag rather than on my person because I don't use it too much. Uh, it's an iPhone SE um, and I only really have sort of two purposes for this which is for checking Microsoft Teams when I'm not at my laptop or for taking pictures of equipment for test reports when I'm in the lab. Uh, but other than that, I don't really use it. My main phone is actually this one, the one that's filming the top-down shot. Uh, this is an iPhone 13. Uh, this is great. I use it for pretty much everything. Um, and as you can see, I'm also using it for filming my videos. But this is my daily driver of uh, a phone. And this is sort of just the one I use in case I'm not at my laptop for work. Now the next item is something that will be familiar as I go through the bag, which is a little notebook. I like to take lots of notebooks with me, which all serve slightly different purposes. Now this one I use as a little sort of hold all notebook that I can put pretty much anything in this because it's so small, it's got a nice little pen with it. And I'm actually uh, very often taking it in and out of my bag, keeping it in my back pocket, uh, so I can just jot down little notes. So this is an item that will be quite familiar by the end of the video because I like to have quite a few notebooks with me. Uh, the main reason being that I much prefer doing handwritten notes than actually typing them out because I can process the information that I'm trying to write down a lot better and it sticks with my mind a lot quicker. So uh, these are very convenient, very easy to carry around and not too bulky. Now the next item is actually probably one of my favorites in this entire everyday carry and it's this. This is the Rotring 600 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil. Now the reason it's my favorite is not so much because of the actual pencil itself. Although I do really like the pencil. I like the tactile grip at the front. I like the weight of the pencil and it's a very smooth pencil to write with. It fits in my hand well um, and it just feels great to write with. While I do like all of those, the reason that this is my favorite item possibly out of this entire everyday carry is because of what this pencil represents. Now this pencil to me represents a principle that I first learned from Cal Newport in some of the podcasts that he's featured in as well as his books Slow Productivity and Deep Work. 
The principle is this. If you invest a bit more money into slightly more premium products, so in this case, that's investing in this pencil compared to say a traditional wooden pencil. What we find is that we're much more neater, much more deliberate with the work that we produce with those items than say the cheap common alternatives. So for me, that's meant that my calculations and the notes I take with this pencil have been far more meaningful, far more deliberate and a lot cleaner than the scrappy notes I used to make with just scrap paper and cheap pencils. So this pencil, more than just being a pencil, is a reminder to be that deliberate and intentional self. Now I haven't got too many items left so we can quickly run through these. Now I keep a sharpie with me at all times, never know when you need a sharpie and I like making notes with sharpies because it means you're much more broad with your ideas rather than granular with pencils and pens. So the thick lines on sharpies are great for making uh, sort of mind maps because you can quickly gather a bunch of different thoughts and put them on a piece of paper without thinking too much about the nitty gritty details. So I love a sharpie. I also have this cool little microfiber cloth from the European Space Agency. I use this to wipe my screens and my glasses. Got it from a conference I went to recently um, and it's cool to get space merch all the time. Finally, we have these. Now it's summer in Britain and I'm getting absolutely battered by the pollen from hay fever. So I always carry antihistamines with me, hay fever relief tablets, just to get rid of that runny nose and the watery eyes, I guess. So that's everything in the front pocket. Let's look at the middle pocket now. Now, this is the one that carries the bulk of my main items, I guess. And as you'll see, there's not actually too much in here because as I said, I tried to keep it as minimal as possible. So let's start with the mouse. This is the Logitech MX Master. This is the first generation of it. Uh, this is actually a mouse I've had again since my uh, undergraduate student everyday carry, and I've seen no reason to replace it. I do know that they make sort of the the version 2, the version 3, uh, they look great but I've just seen no reason to replace this. It still works perfectly and I use it for both my work laptop, my personal laptop and my desktop computer. Now that's one of my favourite features about this mouse which is the three device programmability which allows me to switch quickly between my three devices which I use on a day-to-day -day basis. But as well as that, the Logitech software allows me to program the little thumb button that is included and the side buttons for different tasks. So I have a different configuration for when I'm editing my videos in Premiere Pro versus when I'm using this for uh, SolidWorks, for example, for 3D modeling at work. So this is a great mouse. Um, I know there are upgrades, but I've seen no reason to replace this as of yet. Now I've already mentioned the next two items and those are two notebooks. Now I carry two notebooks with me to work and why do I need two notebooks? Well, the reason is pretty simple. I have a work notebook and I have a personal notebook. Now in my work notebook is where I'll have all of my notes to do with meetings or projects or calculations or any training that I do. Everything essentially that allows me to do my job on a day-to-day -day basis. In my personal notebook, I also carry this with me, which includes all of the general notes that I may have from a day-to-day -day basis. This comes in and out of my work bag all the time, so it's not just to do with work. This is also for journaling and for writing down any thoughts that I may have, as well as sort of planning YouTube videos or uh, writing about any upcoming books that I want to read. Just general notes go in this one and work notes go in this one. And I like to separate the two because uh, I can refer back to this one at a later date whenever I know I need to find something for work purposes and I know I don't have to go looking through this one. On the side of my personal notebook, I keep a little pen. This is a pretty minimalist pen. It's a Parker pen. I'm not sure of the exact make, um, but I will leave it in the description if I find it. This is, again, pretty special to me. Um, holds a lot of sentimental value because my dad gave me this uh, just before I started my GCSE exams when I was 16. So this is a great mix of uh, great design, great use and form factor, but also a lot of sentimental value. We then get onto some more sort of cable-y stuff, probably less exciting things to be honest. We've got these Jabra Evolve headsets. Seems like most workplaces use something similar to this. It's a USB-C um, 
headset so it fits into my laptop without any adapters um, and it's great for meetings. I also have my USB-C charging block for my laptop, which we'll see uh, right after this. And finally, we have in this little zipped compartment, a USB-C to lightning cable. This is what I use to charge both of my phones. And finally, we have a USB-C uh, sort of docking port dongle. Uh, this is by Zmuipeng, strange name. Uh, but it's got everything I've ever needed on this uh, dongle. So it's got a power adapter, it's got two USB 2.0s, two HDMI ports, an Ethernet port, display port, SD card, micro SD card, two USB 3.0s and two USB Cs. So this is pretty much all I'll ever need in terms of uh, connectors for my laptop. So that's the middle section done and now we move on to the back section and there's only one item in the back section which as you can guess is my laptop. So let's get rid of the bag and take a look at it. Now this is the Dell XPS 17 9710 laptop. It's got 64 gigabytes of RAM, a two terabyte SSD and a 11th gen Intel i9 processor and it's safe to say that this is an absolute beast. It is more than enough that I need to power my day-to-day -day use for, at the minute, a lot of CAD modeling. So I use this with SolidWorks pretty much every day to model components and parts for a spacecraft that I'm working on. And it's very competent at handling the massive assemblies that we use in SolidWorks for the spacecraft. So this is an absolute machine in terms of being able to handle the immense workload that I put it through. There's a few downsides that I will note to it. The first is that it gets extremely hot, especially when I'm using it with SolidWorks doing some really intensive tasks. And also the battery life is absolutely terrible. If this is not plugged in pretty much constantly, it's drained within 20 minutes easily. Now it's worth mentioning that this isn't the laptop that I had right at the beginning of my career. I started off with a Lenovo ThinkPad, which was fine for the document writing and the work I had before that. But as soon as I moved into CAD modeling and 3D modeling, I needed something more powerful for all of my daily use and it powers both my work at home and work in the office setup. So that's my everyday carry as a spacecraft engineer. I hope you found this video interesting. And as I said, I tried to keep my everyday carry as minimal as possible and only take the most essential items with me so I don't clutter my bag with unnecessary tech and junk. So I hope that's come across in this video. And as always, if you wanna pick up any of the items I've talked about today, then you can find them in the description below. But other than that, I just wanna say thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.